Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to this uh, Open Day 2022, which is related to the um, uh, master degrees, uh, which are um, offered by the Department of Economics of the University of Bergamo. Uh, I am Gianmaria Martini. I am the head uh, of the Department of Economics. And the first uh, thing that I would like to say is that uh, I am sure that I will. Uh, I am interpreting the the feeling, the sentiment of all the members of the department. Uh, uh, we would have liked uh, to uh, to meet you uh, in person, but the um, situation of the pandemic so far doesn't allow us to to do this. And so, uh, unfortunately, we 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 have to do this online. But I'm sure that it can be. Um, uh, efficient as well, and you may, and we may provide, and you may ask uh, all the necessary information uh, that you 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 may require. As I mentioned, I am uh, um, uh, I am the head of the Department of Economics. The Department of Economics is uh, um, um, composed by. Uh, members by um, researchers uh, that are involved in three main areas uh, economics uh, statistics and mathematics for finance uh, insurance and economics um, the members uh, of the department uh, are unique are very 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 great people all of them are committed to research and teaching and I'm sure that they will uh, put all the all their efforts in uh, um, in, in in achieving a very good training for you. So uh, I'm sure that uh, you will find uh, this is something that I, I I'm pretty sure that you will find a, a, a stimulating and cooperative environment in our department where you can uh, find yourself comfortable but you can also um, start uh, uh, interesting and stimulating relationship with the members of the department and um, this uh, relationship uh, will develop uh, all your skills both the cognitive skills and uh, which are very important in in the, in the master degree that we are presenting uh, and the non-cognitive skills, which are also as well important for the for for your uh, for your life, for your experience, and for your for the development uh, of your uh, personality. You will have uh, therefore the possibility to prepare yourself uh, um, to work um, in 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 different sectors. You may work in the finance uh, in the financial sector. You may work for the institution. Uh, we know, as I mentioned, I as I will mention in, in a moment, uh, how important are the, the, the institution for, for, the, for finance. Um, you may also find uh, um, that your skills are such that you would like to be, uh, to be involved in uh, some research activities with the uh, department members. Um, so, uh, I am pretty sure that what you will find uh, by attending the master degree in economics and finance is a, um, a, a great, uh, a great uh, place where you can, you, you can grow and you can uh, find your way, find your way, which can be different uh, for uh, uh, each one of you. Uh, you can go, as I mentioned, to work. Uh, possibly for some banks or for some uh, um, uh, investment funds, or you can work for an institution. We need to have a very good institutions. Uh, they are essential to, for, for a very good working of the economy. And um, um, the, uh, and and also you may may find uh, interesting uh, so 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 interesting the, the the relationship and the knowledge that is uh, um, transferred to you by 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 the by some members of the department that you will uh, will will uh, will, uh, will try will uh, will uh, will will uh, initiate to to work as as a researcher and maybe this means that you will start an academic career. 
Um, we are also committed uh, to uh, provide you um, interesting experience uh, during this uh, master degree related to internship, both um, uh, in Italy and also abroad, as well as uh, uh, other um, training uh, opportunity, like for instance, Erasmus exchanges and, and so on. Uh, just a final word, the, the master degree in economics and finance is clearly on a very important topic since, uh, as we know, finance is essential for economic growth. Uh, I, I might say that it's not possible to think about economic growth and efficient and fast economic growth with a, a, a uniform distribution of all the benefits across all the population without disparities but uh, uh, without uh, a, a, an efficient uh, financial sector. Uh, we also know that the sector has been highly criticized recently for, especially for the consequences that we have observed um, uh, regarding some opportunistic behaviors. Uh, and uh, we still suffer for some of the um, long lasting effects of these um, opportunistic behaviors that led to the very important uh, uh, global economic and financial crisis uh, that started in 2008-2009. Uh, that um, crisis uh, highlighted once more that it is um, very, 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 very important that finance is working well with rules with Trump transparency. And for this reason, as I mentioned before, it's important to have also efficient institution that help that help the, the, the sector to, to work uh, uh, in a good way. So your, your skills will grow um, in uh, the knowledge of the financial institutions, of the financial companies involved in this, in this sector and also in uh, the techniques uh, that uh, are required to handle the massive quantity of data available in uh, finance. So you will have uh, the possibility to, to, uh, to know very well the sector and uh, also to, uh, in, to, 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 to implement the techniques uh, uh, that are necessary to have a very good analysis for the decision making. Um, I am also sure that you will find at the end of the program um, a situation in the labor market, whether you will go to the finance sector, to the institutional, uh, to the institution, whether you will uh, be, uh, you, you will be in the research activity you will find yourself in the labor market in a situation where you will have, you will see an excess of demand. So many, many people will, will, will ask you to work for them rather than uh, you will be uh, asking for more jobs uh, and having less demand. So um, in, some, in other words, I'm pretty sure that it will be quite easy for you to find a very good job at the end of the program. So, um, before leaving the floor to uh, Professor Buonanno, um, which is who is the um, the professor that is the the reference for this master program, uh, and to uh, Professor uh, Torri, that is the moderator of the of the session that you will have uh, uh, in a moment. I just uh, wanted to say hello and welcome once more, but also to introduce a video that uh, will show a possible uh, experience that you may have in the beautiful city of Bergamo. Thank you very much and having a good time. <laughs>
Hello everybody, thank you again and uh, thank Professor Martini for, uh, for the introduction. Uh, now we'll, we will uh, hear Paolo Bonanno that uh, will uh, present the characteristic of the course uh, and, uh, and the details uh, of the program, program. Later we will uh, hear two testimonials to students who are currently in, uh, in the program or in the program to have uh, some uh, um, some idea of uh, how it uh, how, how is the course from uh, somebody who is uh, following it uh, right now we will then open the discussion and in the meantime if you have any question you can, you can write in the in the chat uh, we will uh, uh, try to answer to all the question later is uh, uh, here um, here we, with us also Luca Patelli, that is uh, the tutor of the course, uh, and uh, he's probably the one uh, who, who knows best uh, all the details, uh, uh, the practical details that are useful for uh, uh, candidate students uh, and uh, to, uh, the practical issues that uh, you will have to, to face uh, uh, in enrolling uh, in, uh, in the course. Uh, uh, so he will join uh, for uh, for the um, for the question time uh, later. I will uh, now let the floor to Paolo Bonanno that uh, will present uh, the the course. Thanks, Gabriele. So and good evening to everyone, and I'm happy that you you are here to to listen the the presentation of that uh, of that master program, and um, in which we will uh, outline. Uh, the, the main features of the program as well as uh, the market prospects uh, eventually related to um, to your future prospect uh, prospect careers so um, in the slide that I'm <clears throat> that you can see on uh, presented um, we will focus on uh, first of all why choosing uh, an economics of finance uh, economics and finance masters considering also that there are many other uh, potential competitors in the market. So uh, obviously, first of all, as already has been um, introduced by Professor Martini, uh, economics and finance, uh, uh, and in particular, a master in economics and finance, tend to respond to the complexity that we are living and that we are facing, uh, um, and the increasing complexity that we are facing related to the economics and financial system, and also related to the huge growth in the digitalization and information and big data areas. So clearly, uh, uh, studying economics and finance means uh, studying uh, uh, statistical methodology, studying uh, mathematics, uh, in order to better understand and, be and, and, and the tools to, to understand exactly and to 
forecast what is will happen in, in, in the future. That means uh, that uh, our master program offer a balanced education between a, obviously a theoretical background and empirical and quantitative skills. And we will discuss that more in detail later. Why Bergamo uh, and not our potential program? First of all, our masters tend to have small classes. So that means that uh, you can uh, uh, that foster and incentivate relation among students, among students and, and professors, and uh, uh, as well as uh, uh, help students to, de to develop um, communication abilities. And that is extremely important uh, considering that independently on uh, uh, which will be your, your future uh, in the job market is extremely important to to being able to relate and to being able to uh, provide evidence of your knowledge. As well as uh, uh, we have a, 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 a strong international vocation, uh, considering that m m roughly 20% of teaching is performed by international visiting professors. So uh, this means that you will live uh, in a, in a very uh, challenging and friendly environment, okay, if you choose to, to enroll in the program. And you, you could exploit all the benefits of having um, a teaching uh, tailor for uh, small classes. Um, before, Talking about the program, I think that is extremely important to I, I, highlight and, uh, and stress which are the main career opportunities after, um, after a two-year degree master program. As I already mentioned, uh, our graduates will acquire a solid knowledge in economics, mathematics, statistics, and specific programming skills uh, that are extremely important to uh, analyze and manage fin financial insurance, pension products, okay? So, and that is extremely important that you keep in mind that all these uh, uh, different ingredients are necessary to, uh, to make you successful in the job market. So, uh, as any master program, the aim is that our graduate uh, may, uh, be able to um, get important and highly qualified job in the market. And the program is particularly tailored for uh, the dynamic world of bank insurance company. Uh, also considering, and that is extremely important to, to stress, the evolution of that sector. That is more, uh, as many of you may know, that is tend to be uh, particularly uh, focus on fintech and on the evolution of uh, digitalization. And there are some aspects that we'll stress throughout the course and as well as in the presentation. So which are the main, I'm, I'm just outlining, I, I'm outlining some of the main uh, career opportunities. So clearly one of the main uh, career opportunities is the financial economist. So uh, that is, uh, an expert of the economic and financial systems that uh, uh, need to be able to develop uh, empirical analysis combining both advanced statisticals and economic methods, but also having uh, the economic and mathematical knowledge to interpret the results. Okay. And uh, these figures is, uh, and that profile is important, is extremely important considering also the evolution in the digital and green perspective in, in many uh, financial and economic fields. And when we, uh, and indeed, uh, we, we have a, a sustainable finance uh, um, curriculum as well as a more quantitative curriculum focus on uh, the evolution in the information uh, sectors. Another um, 
profile that uh, could be one of the main or uh, and more relevant is the risk manager or the expert or risk assessment and management of financial and insurance product. Clearly, once again, uh, on top of the um, uh, tools, statistical and economic tools in that sector, you also need to handle and so to have the methodological, methodological knowledge to identify, describe and estimate and then the financial and insurance risk. Obviously, uh, we, uh, we, we will offer not only the possibility to uh, focus on, uh, on the subject, but we'll also offer a wide opportunity of, of stage and internship in order to uh, uh, taste the job market. Um, the other two uh, figures, uh, uh, are the financial analyst, so an expert of risk management and, uh, and investment strategy. So that is typical uh, focus on uh, banks, uh, insurance company, financial intermediates, and uh, in which you, you uh, in that case, uh, you will, you need to have skills uh, to, de to develop and implement uh, statistical mathematical mo models for financial data analysis analysis and uh, as uh, is something that I think that is um, a red line uh, uh, throughout uh, all the profiles, the mix uh, and the combination of the knowledge that you need to have uh, in order to be successful in the job market. So it's not just about economics and finance, but it's also uh, about having and acquiring the, the right methodology and uh, um, and uh, a deep knowledge of mathematics and statistics in order to be uh, able to develop, implement, and analyze financial data and the financial market. Finally, um, another um, figure that is extremely important is that the economic and financial data analyst, as already stressed in the presentation by Professor Martini, uh, the huge uh, uh, production of information and data uh, is on one side a, a huge opportunity uh, for understanding how the markets are evolving, but on the other side, uh, um, we need to uh, develop a specific methodology and specific skills uh, that are required to analyze those markets. And, uh, and think about uh, uh, machine learning techniques or supervised machine learning techniques or many others uh, um, important evolution in, 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 the, in, in the sector of data analysis that are crucial in order to be able to uh, deal with uh, uh, the huge amount of information that nowadays uh, are available. So once uh, uh, we present uh, briefly, uh, considering the time concern that we are facing, uh, which are the, the main uh, labor market uh, prospects and the main uh, um, profiles, uh, it is important to focus on which are the main uh, subjects that we, you will cover in the case in which you will decide to enroll in our program. So obviously there are the two main focuses on economics and finance. So think about uh, uh, so advanced micro, advanced macro, decision theory, behavioral economics, financial economics, as well as finan finance, so financial economics, sustainable finance, fintech, asset pricing and risk analysis. But as I already mentioned, is extremely important, a, a strong background in mathematics and statistics. So statistics and probability for economics and finance, mathematics for economics and finance, as well as, um, uh, up-to-date techniques uh, in artificial intelligence and machine learning for finance. So uh, those topics uh, represent uh, the, um, the main uh, subject that you will cover throughout the course in the case in which you will enroll. And depending on which of the curriculum uh, you will intend to enroll, you may stress 
one um, of those uh, uh, topics. So in particular, we have two uh, curricula. The first is uh, sustainable finance and economics, and the second is quantitative finance and insurance. So basically those two curricula uh, as a um, share the first year, okay? And while in the second year, they will differ uh, for uh, some subject. So in particular, the sustainable finance and economics curriculum uh, provide a free economics course related, specific economic course related to financial economics and sustainable finance. And uh, in particular, financial econometrics, sustainable finance and financial economics and institution. On the other side, the quantitative finance and insurance curriculum has two main uh, three courses, more on quantitative finance and insurance methodology, such as uh, uh, insurance methodology and techniques and financial and insurance risk model. So uh, once again, um, the two curriculum, the two curricula as and share the first year while they differ in, a, in some courses uh, in the second year in order to focus on the aspect in which you will uh, prefer to, uh, to focus your attention and your study. So that is a very, uh, um, in a very uh, intuitive way, this, the study plan in which you have uh, in the first year uh, the main uh, background courses such as mathematics, uh, advanced micro and macro, uh, statistics, uh, and uh, finance, uh, financial instrument law, as well as financial investment, corporate finance. And I, I, I just want to stress a little bit financial investment and corporate finance, because uh, in uh, there's a module on blockchain and fintech uh, that is extremely important considering the evolution of the uh, financial market and uh, of the financial system. Um, um, uh, you uh, also, you, 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 you see that uh, in both curriculum, you have uh, 12 credits, ECTS credit uh, of elective courses. That means that you can choose uh, uh, how to fill those 12 credits and choosing uh, from uh, uh, other courses offered from the department or other courses that you want to cover that you are not uh, able to, to take in your curriculum. In, in, in also, we have a, a, a very important uh, um, uh, short module of soft and complementary skills because within that, the ability of talking in public, the ability of presenting results, the ability of relating with other uh, peers is an extremely important uh, skill that need to be uh, developed also throughout the formal course in, 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 the academic, uh, um, in your academic career. So uh, clearly we need to stress that um, uh, if we, everyone hope to, to be in presence uh, uh, next year and we, uh, and uh, worldwide data uh, make us optimistic about that possibility. Uh, on the other side, uh, we know that uh, this pandemic is pretty uh, and um, unforecastable. And that in that sense, we need to, uh, as we did in um, over the last two years, we also offer the uh, master program in dual mode. So the possibility to uh, have lessons in presence or uh, available online mode in, in, in streaming. And um, there are many other uh, and opportunities to uh, combine that two different uh, approaches is considering um, the evolution of the pandemic. So, um, just focusing a little bit more on which are the activities uh, that we will offer, uh, a part of the formal activities and courses that you are able to uh, attend throughout the, the, um, 
the course, uh, there is a wide variety, variety of extracurriculum courses, thematic workshop, uh, and involvement in uh, ongoing international research. So uh, considering that our department is an extremely dynamic department, you may have the opportunity to uh, attend several uh, seminars, departmental seminars, several workshops, uh, and also having the opportunity of uh, attending more, uh, be involved in uh, internship and uh, stage activities. Um, Considering uh, the effort that they are required to, um, in terms of uh, quantitative uh, um, knowledge, uh, we will offer crash courses uh, to help students that think to have not a, a, an, an adequate uh, um, background in those topics in mathematics, statistics, econometrics, and we also offer some Stata labs. And Stata is one of the most used uh, um, software, programming software for uh, economic analysis, and, uh, but it's not the only one that we will use uh, throughout the, the, the two years because the, we also have uh, specific courses on, on Python and on other programming uh, softwares. Um, as I already told you, another activity that um, is extremely important is uh, the soft and complementary skills module that is forced to develop uh, skills uh, uh, that are extremely important in the job market, such as how to write a, a curriculum, how to prepare a job interview, public speaking, teamworking, ability to present. And in particular, the first two um, parts, so how to write a curriculum and how to prepare a job interview are crucial in order to succeed in the job market. And that is something that you need to learn throughout uh, a course and is not just something that you can uh, learn by, by your own. And that's exactly for that reason, we decide to spend free uh, credits uh, to offer that uh, opportunity. On the other side, uh, um, we, we work a lot in order to offer you a, a lot of opportunity in terms of internship and, and in terms of stage. Considering that uh, uh, the internship, in a way, is the first opportunity that you, that you have to know, to understand and know the job market, and it could represent also a facilitation to enter the job market. So we have um, several uh, relationships with the private sectors, such as Deloitte, Compass Lexicon, uh, and Promontory, and other important players in uh, in the financial sectors. Um, we also have a, a relationship with uh, the public sector, such as the Italian Statistical uh, uh, Institute, uh, as well as uh, the uh, ANIA, that is the Insurance National Association. And also we have a uh, long, uh, important and um, relationship with uh, uh, some of the most well-known uh, international institutions, such as the World Bank, the Inter Inter uh, IMF, and the Inter-American Development Bank. And we um, work in order to offer those opportunities because we think that uh, uh, a two-year master's program will present an important uh, step uh, to enter the job market and all the possibility that we can offer to facilitate uh, that are extremely important for students. Obviously, you also have um, international opportunity in the sense that if you want to spend a semester abroad, we have a lot of uh, possibility uh, that will offer you the uh, opportunity to uh, attend courses is in, uh, uh, in another European country, okay, such as Maastricht, Augsburg, uh, in France, uh, Paris Business School, uh, or in, in, in uh, many, other, uh, many other opportunities. As well as you may have the opportunity to, to be involved in international stage uh, in, uh, in Washington at the, on one of the, the three uh, main international organizations that I already cited. Um, I, I just take 
few more minutes just to focus on the admission requirement. Okay, so uh, you, you can find all the details about the admission requirement on, on the University of Bergamo website. But there are some requirements that are uh, in, in extremely important to, to stress. First of all, uh, that you need to have a, a good knowledge of uh, English corresponding to a level of B2. And uh, that could be um, a certificate uh, through formal certification or uh, uh, informally if you have attended um, in your own country a, a program in, in English. Um, but uh, uh, it's important that you take uh, um, note of those of those requirements in order to 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 have a smooth procedure uh, a smooth enrollment procedure another aspect that is more uh, extremely important for non-eu students is uh, the pre-evaluation calls from uh, the pre-evaluation call so there are pre-evaluation call uh, from february so the first call open tomorrow and and on february 16th and uh, uh, so a student can apply in that window and uh, they will uh, attend uh, through um, and they will be invited in the case in which they will be shortlisted for an online interview from March 14th to April 4th um, and the ranking publication will start from April uh, 15th uh, in the case in which you want to apply uh, at the first call. If you instead you want to apply at the second call, the second call open in March in uh, eighth and close in March eighteenth, and uh, you can see which are the uh, deadline uh, following that that second that second call. So uh, for which it concern uh, non EU students, um, is important that in uh, in in applying you uh, provide all the documents that are required in order to facilitate the, the evaluation and pro process and in order to have uh, more chances to be admitted and to, to be uh, shortlisted for the interview and then ranked for in, in, a, in, a, in the ranking. Okay, so uh, once uh, admitted, you need to enroll formally and enrollment start in uh, July 12th and, uh, and once again there are two uh, windows that and once again you need to pay a lot of attention to those windows in order to be uh, 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 to meet the requirement and to meet the deadline. Okay. Finally uh, which are the main contacts? So in the case of inter international uh, students so, I mean, uh, non-EU students, so uh, students coming uh, outside the uh, European Union, uh, you, you, we have a ticketing service uh, managed by the international office, and here you may find uh, the link. And alternatively, you may contact uh, the, the program, the department director, so that is Gianmaria Martini, or the student study, study advisory coordinator, that is Professor Manzoni. Okay. That is uh, uh, in the case in which you need some additional information in order to, uh, uh, to successfully apply or enroll in the program. Or eventually, if you need some additional information that uh, you haven't uh, grabbed from that presentation. Finally, in, uh, in the website, you may find all the information. So the website is uh, in English and where you can find all the information. Uh, 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 in much more in depth than uh, what I presented uh, today, and uh, uh, that offer you a more um, detailed uh, description of the courses that you could attend, of the activity that we are running in in uh, in the department and in in the course, as well as uh, eventual administrative information that are extremely important in that phase for you. So. I'll leave the floor to, to Gabriele in order to, uh, for, uh, to, to understand whether we have any question or eventually uh, additional information that we may provide. 
Thank you very much, Paolo, for the very clear com and comprehensive uh, presentation. Uh, before going to the to the question uh, session, I would uh, uh, give the the um, the word to the two students, the the two testimonials of the course, and uh, they are Ricardo Sorce and Matteo Matteo Forno. Uh, so I will um, ask them to present their experience of this first year of uh, course. I think uh, uh, Ricardo Sorce will speak first. So please, uh, Ricardo, uh, tell us. Again, if you have any questions, just write in the chat. We will uh, try to answer later. Question could be addressed to, to, either, to either Professor Bonanno or um, to Luca Patelli, that is the tutor, or even to the students if uh, you're curious about uh, something uh, um, related to the experience. So please, uh, Ricardo, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you, Professor. Hi everyone, I am Ricardo Sorce and I am attending this master's degree in economics and finance. I'm here to tell you something of my brief till now experience. This is important because uh, one year ago I was facing the choice of uh, the master's degree like you. So I hope uh, that I can provide you an additional point of view. I graduated last year in business administration here in Bergamo and then I decided to direct my academic career to the finance field. My academic background provided me uh, sufficient tools for the master courses. But anyway, for the ones who come from different fields, there are a lot of crash courses, as uh, Professor Bonanno said before, that are opportunity for students uh, that um, have a weaker background. In my opinion, this uh, master degree is one of uh, the most complete master offered in uh, this university, because uh, it allows you to dip in both economics uh, and the finance field. Personally, I'm interested in the dynamics of the financial markets, the evolution of the micro and macro factors that affect uh, the real economy, and uh, all uh, is uh, correlated with uh, the world of finance. In the moment we are living, the world of finance is very close to us and uh, accessible to everyone. The aim of this master is to dip in the theory, the mathematical tools, and the, the practical skills to better form us for the world that we are living in. This is what um, essentially I expected by these courses and now attending it, uh, it turned out to be much more. Till now I attended only five courses, but I found them extremely complete, comprehensive and close to the reality. For someone who is now facing the choice of uh, a master degree, maybe the language of the lesson could be a crucial point for the decision. I haven't attended English courses before the master degree, and uh, in my opinion, this uh, kind of choice could be stimulating and uh, intellectually challenging. With a good level of English, you can easily understand all the lessons, and the kindness of uh, the professor uh, will help you in uh, all your possible luck. A master degree is different from a bachelor. In the class, there are a few students, and this permits to professor to be closer to them. With this master degree, I am living in the narrow sense of the word, the university. Attending a lesson, you have a constant debate with professors. The most of the subjects uh, you study are mainly composed by practical parts. And this is challenging because you became the actor of your knowledge improvement. For example, in the first year, there is the course of mathematics for economics and finance, a course that before attending it, I thought it was totally theoretical and based on proposition. Conversely, the approach of this master and obviously the passion with which the professor teach make the course very practical. During the lesson, you will build to study the theoretical base and apply them to the real problems such as portfolio selection, profit ma maximization or asset pricing. I think uh, this kind of approach that characterizes this master degree is one of uh, the most important feature for choosing it. Sometimes when you are studying something, uh, it turns out that it's very different from the uh, real application, uh, for example, in, in a workplace. This master degree allows you to directly link your acquired knowledge to the real world, and you are able to spend it in the field. The professor are very close, uh, as I said, uh, to the students. For example, during the course, uh, uh, I propose a lot of uh, group work, a uh, component of the final grade uh, of the subject. 
every time I had uh, a doubt, I simply knocked <laughs> at the door of uh, the professor and with terrific kindness, I've been helped. Another bullet point, uh, very important in my opinion, is um, the opportunity that this university of, uh, offer to the students. Choosing this master's degree, you will meet a big variety of students in terms of cultural and ac academic provenience. And if you are not satisfied to meet in your house students uh, from different country, you can become that foreign study students. Next year, for example, I decided to spend a part of the course abroad and this master degree make your choice very easy. You can go like everywhere and you will be properly prepared for the course in other countries. Two of my friends and colleagues are now spending the semester abroad, one in Gran Canaria and the other in Finland, and they are very happy of their choice. And this is also thanks to the knowledge acquired here. If you are thinking of spending some time abroad, this is the perfect course because you are already familiar with studying in another language and especially for the ones who are choosing the English as the language of the lesson, you are not required for further language certification. One of uh, the most important features of uh, the economics and finance degree is that you can spend your knowledge in a lot of fields. I have not till now a uh, previous career that I want to follow, but this approach that we can define total allow you to choose between a lot of different works, such as mm, working a bank in a financial institution, risk analysis or portfolio management, researcher, economics field, and all you can think correlated uh, to the world of uh, economics and finance. I hope uh, that uh, I was clear and uh, this brief intervention was uh, helpful to clarify your idea on uh, this master degree. Uh, if you have some questions, I'm at your disposal. And now I leave the floor to my colleague, uh, Matteo Forno. Thank you. Thank you, Riccardo. Uh, I'll ask uh, Matteo Forno his experience. Good afternoon to everyone. I am uh, Matteo Forno, and I will try to, to say something different, which maybe Riccardo didn't did, did not say so i graduated in october in november in uh, economics a bachelor degree here in bergamo and uh, i will start uh, talking about mainly the the main the main differences in uh, during the bachelor degree and the master degree and uh, the fundamental one is uh, that you have a, a more practical approach as ricardo said before for example uh, in these five months we have the the, a great opportunity to do different uh, group works all together and you will have uh, the opportunity to work uh, also with uh, some colleagues that you, you did not know at the, at the beginning. So I think that this is a, a great uh, uh, opportunity also um, that prepares the students in general uh, for, for the future, for when we will be able to, to, to go and find a job, for example. Uh, I would like to add something to the English pre preparation because I would suggest you not to be scared of, of English. Uh, of course, the minimum uh, level is required is B2, but uh, if you may do not feel, uh, you do not feel comfor com comfortable or, or confident, uh, I think that this could be also um, a way to improve your skills, your knowledge, your listening, your speaking because you will have to do every single day, you will have to, to do it with English when you study, when you read, when you listen to professor. So I think that this is a great, great opportunity. And uh, also do not be scared, maybe because this course is, uh, is new, because I think that uh, as it is a new course started this year in, uh, in October, it is uh, one of the most uh, updated courses and it prepares all the students also to, to new horizons that comes up in uh, finance and uh, economic fields. So I think that this is a great opportunity to everyone. Why I decided to attend this course? Mainly because, as I said before, I graduated in economics. So this course gives you the opportunity to, on one hand, you can uh, continue and deepen what you did at, uh, during the bachelor degree. So you can, uh, for example, you will have to, to deepen microeconomics with advanced microeconomics, advanced microeconomics, 
so uh, and on the other end you will have also the opportunity to um, to join the let's say financial field for example for mathematics for economics and finance and finance finance sustainable finance and and so on so as i said before this is a course that to me gives a, a lot of opportunities to everyone and uh, do not be scared by by the fact that it is in english as uh, ricardo said before it's very understandable of course this is difficult because you will study in let's say more in detail everything but you will be also i think very prepared when you will finish this course so thank you professor torri and ricardo for the intervention thank you matteo Okay, so now we we have uh, seven minutes left for uh, question and answers. Uh, we have one question uh, related to enrollment, and in particular, um, they wanted us to repeat uh, the where where it's possible to find the all the deadlines uh, and procedures for extra EU students. Uh, I think it's uh, it's the opportunity to give the word uh, to. Luca Patelli, the tutor, that uh, can uh, give us uh, uh, some more details uh, and uh, a few more insights about the, the procedure. So, first of all, uh, good afternoon to everybody. I'm Luca Patelli. I'm a former tutor of the master's degree. And today we try to answer to this question. That is really important as uh, it is important to face the deadlines. First of all, all the information that are presented today will be available on the website of the University of Bergamo, in particular in the pages regarding this kind of master degree, so economics and finance. So I invite you all to keep updated the page, to check every day all the new information in order to face the deadlines. First of all, there will be the pre-enrollment phase that will go from uh, the 12th of April to the 9th of September. And in this, in the first step, uh, you will you need to provide your information and uh, your uh, basically your background. Then uh, there will be a second phase in which uh, there will be uh, an, an applicant's evaluation that is divided between the people that will provide the pre-enrollment before the end of May and the second phase, so the people that will provide the pre-enrollment until September, so before the, the 9th of September. And then there, there will be the final registrations, so in which you will be basically students of the University of Bergamo. As uh, anticipated by Professor Bonanno, for the non-EU students, there is a further uh, step that will be that is necessary to face before the pre-enrollment. But this information are already on the website. So, I, as I said before, please check the website. And uh, the um, the date, so the deadlines for the applicants' evaluation, the pre-enrollment. At the moment are not available on the website but i know that they will be updated as soon as possible and for example on the next monday so the 14th of february there will be another session on this platform in which will be presented all the services and the deadlines for all the courses so also i invite you again to to be a participant of that session in order to understand with further detail all the, the requested documents, deadlines, etc. So I think uh, uh, I hope to be useful. Okay. There, there was another uh, question from the chat that uh, regards how this course addressed future of finance requirement that uh, I can. Okay, I think. Uh... Uh, you, 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 okay, I think this is more for uh, Professor uh, Buonanno. Uh, if I can par par paraphrase a little bit the question, probably uh, it's interesting uh, to understand how the, the, the course uh, uh, prepares students for future works, but uh, in a very, in very fast, fast, uh, in an environment that changes very fast. So, how can the course prepare to future the, the future uh, workplace uh, in uh, in the finance world? So um, maybe Paolo Bonanno can give uh, some yeah. uh, some insights about this. 
Yeah, I'll, uh, thanks for the question. Um, what I think and I want to stress more is the fact that in order to be successful in the job market, what you are extremely require your uh, a strong methodological knowledge of the main uh, subject. So that I, I'm, I'm talking about economics, mathematics, statistics, uh, uh, because those subjects are really uh, fundamental uh, in order to be able to update your knowledge to the uh, changing world. Uh, on the other side, I think that it, what is extremely important is focusing on the fact that we are in, 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 the, two, um, in the two curriculum, uh, we stress two main topics. On one side is uh, the sustainability topic, and on the other side, uh, we focus a lot on uh, uh, what is the fintech, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, that are all those components that are crucial in, in the evolving world. So in that sense, uh, you, you don't need to expect something that is really uh, prepare you to, to get a unique lifetime uh, position, but something that allows you to acquire the knowledge uh, uh, the background, the skills in order to be enabled to uh, be successful in the changing job market. So, and uh, um, in that sense, uh, um, I think that what is important to stress is the ne necessary multidisciplinarity that is required in, uh, in that sector. Thank you very much. I think we have one last question before closing the session. Uh, we have a question saying that um, from, a, from a, a person that has an MBA in finance and wants to know how it will upskill uh, my existing finance knowledge. I think that differently from an MBA, probably uh, you will uh, be able to better um, strength uh, your methodology and quantitative uh, skills. So I cannot, I, I do not have any more time given that we are running out of time, but that is the main uh, difference uh, that I, 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 I would uh, uh, stress. Okay, I think uh, we, we are running out of time. Uh, I take the opportunity to thank uh, um, all the participants to the presentation and uh, to thank all of uh, the people who is listening. And uh, we really hope this uh, was helpful to understand uh, uh, the characteristic of the course, the specificities of, of the course, uh, and uh, how uh, this can uh, build your uh, future career and uh, how it will uh, grow your skills. Uh, uh, and also to give you some uh, practical advices uh, on uh, the enrollment process, but uh, we know it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a complicated part and it's a very relevant part. So we try to, um, to, to make it as easy as, as possible and to, pro to be as helpful as uh, possible. We, we invite you to, to visit our website for more information. We have uh, a lot of information on the single courses. So please uh, uh, spend time reading uh, all, uh, all, uh, all, uh, all, the, all the, the documentation because uh, it's, uh, of course, it's a very important choice, uh, the, the, the decision on, on um, which uh, master course to follow. So we hope, uh, that uh, this was helpful and uh, we you will uh, consider this uh, this uh, program so thanks again to everybody and uh, i wish i i give you a good afternoon thank you very much bye to everyone goodbye thank you to everyone goodbye